Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Invincible Ultimate Collection Volume 6. This one, it says, this is the volume you've been waiting for. The Invincible War Set in Motion by Angston Levy. The epic battle with conquest. The final build-up to the Voltron War. The second invasion of Earth. It's all inside and it's almost too much for one superhero to handle. This volume contains issues 60 through 70 and Invincible Returns number 1. So let's take a closer look at the book itself and then we can come back and discuss my thoughts overall. On the front of the dust jacket we've got volume 6 with this black accent and as with all the Invincible books the accent kind of continues throughout so we've got black text for image on the side and the number 6 and then the black section on the back for the synopsis and things like that. Let's get the dust jacket off. Inside we've got a little bit of sort of a synopsis and things on one side and I believe this is creator bios on the on the right. The book itself is a very plain kind of I don't know what this is, it looks kind of like a meshed kind of material, um, kind of coating, just plain black coating and then it's indented saying um, Invincible Ultimate Collection Mine is, uh, I don't know if you can see here, uh, it's a little bit dinged in the corner but that doesn't take away from uh, reading the book and then on the spine we've got indented Invincible Collection Volume 6 as well So if we spread this out, it is uh, sewn binding but the glue is quite heavy and the binding is quite tight so it reads okay um, but it could be a little bit better as I say the black theme continues throughout as they due to this kind of heavier binding you don't really get the first few pages to to lie with all that well. It's not a huge deal, but it, it does make a difference. I don't want to go too far into this book because there's a lot that happens here, so I'm gonna just kind of skim over things as, as quickly as I can for various kind of things. Um, you guys can pause it if you want to look at a, a certain page a little bit longer. Alan's back in this volume which is awesome. And then let's skip to the back. And we get some various art um, from cons or from creations and stuff with a bit of a commentary by Robert Kirkman and Ryan Otley as with all the collected editions so far. So I don't necessarily always read all of this but I found it quite interesting just to kind of see where things came from or why they did certain things, especially in the first two or three volumes. Um, but as I said I don't necessarily read all of this in every volume because some of it is just fan art. Like this man here, who's obviously not in the book. And then at the back of this, we do get some covers as well, I believe, from the trades. This one is, as the book says on the back, where things start kind of coming to, to a kind of head. Um, up until now we've had various sort of family dilemmas, introductions of new characters, people um, changing teams, a few deaths but typically a lot of the deaths um, people have managed to come back from or you know various other kind of things. So say for instance 
there's a character who's completely invulnerable and if his body is split up he's dead but as soon as they put the parts back together he's alive again um, or we thought a bad guy was dead and then the sort of American agencies have actually taken them on um, sort of behind the scenes and they're not really dead they're working for the good guys technically um, so like stuff like that this book finally comes to like a full kind of coming to a to a kind of head and um, so we've got um, Alan the alien and uh, Grayson's dad basically locked up and they've kind of broke out and um, are making their way back to, to sort of Earth. There's about three or four sort of world ending sort of battles that happen in this one book and there's a lot of very bloody sequences and a lot of characters that, well, are gonna die. Um, I'm not going to give you any specifics as to who, but this really is a, a, a point where shit starts hitting the fan and things just get crazy. So all I can really say with these series of books, and it seems like I'm doing the same with pretty much every one of these these kind of videos now though, um, is to say, you know, you need to read this yourself. You need to start with book one and just read through this your, yourself. You can buy these in, I believe, compendiums, um, and I believe some of the books early on were done in a sort of bigger library edition, but not the, the sort of complete run. And obviously, you can go, you can go kind of digital right now as well if that's that's something you you want to kind of do. But I would highly recommend that you uh, you check out this book overall because it's just crazy. In, in some ways, it's like they took this sort of gore slapstick side of something like, say, uh, Luther Strode and then threw it in with some sort of um, massive world sort of story like Irredeemable maybe um, and then twisted it with some sort of family sort of ethics and stories of things of just a standard slice of life book and somehow it all kind of, kind of works together and it's just really, really um, entertaining. So I have taken up enough of your, your time for, for this book guys, um, so thanks for watching, I hope you guys check this out yourself if you haven't already, I'd love to know your thoughts on this volume or any before it in the comments below. As always though guys, subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified as and when videos drop in future and I'll see you guys next time.